we asked all of you a question that came in via text. And it asked, what was God's purpose in creating humanity? I think it gave a lot of you some food for thought. So some of you are wrestling with the answer. If, if God make man to worship him, does that make him selfish? The answers everyone sent pretty much fell into three categories. One, to take care of the planet as his stewards. Or two, to glorify him or to show or live out the kind of love God has for God and his children. And three, because he loves us and wants us to be part of his family. One caller felt that God may have been lonely. Daryl on Facebook said, said it's the same reason we have children, to share ourselves and to have a relationship with him. Elizabeth on Facebook also mentioned a fitting text, which is 1 John 3, 1. Well, is there any other um, verse that we want to discuss with that question? That's a big question. And yes. I know the Lord answers a big questions in the word of God. That's right. It's a really great question. I love this question. Um, I'm thinking of, I really like all of the answers. And I would like to take us to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, it says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And I've always, you know, liked the fact that God kind of starts out in creation talking about the fact that there is us, the we, the divine we that's creating. It's not just one, obviously, right? There is more. And we know throughout the Bible, he's described as three. And so... To me, it all starts with the fact that God in the Trinity has this perfect, beautiful relationship. And we know that because Jesus is talking about how God loves him, right? So if God loves him, well, then there has to be this mutual, just incredible love between them. And so I believe that's where it started. I know someone, one of somebody mentioned that, it, yes, it started all because of God's love for us. And so I think he wanted all of us to experience what they have, mm. what the Trinity experiences all the time, this just incredible love relationship. And that's why I think it's all about relationship. The purpose has to do, most importantly, with a relationship. And it's this vertical relationship with God. Yeah. And, you know, whether I am spending time with God, learning from Him, taking the time to know Him, and then it's the horizontal relationship between us as people. And I really see it as because it comes first, right? Because Jesus says, um, first, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and then love others. Um, so to me, if we have that part broken, then the, the horizontal part will be broken too. And we can see it in our world because lots of relationships are broken. And so I love this, this question and the reminder of the fact that it is about relationships. And so then I, you know, I think of like, okay, well, how am I living this purpose out then? Mm -hmm. Because obviously that means it has to show in the relationships that I have in my own life. And it kind of checks me, you know, am I spending that time with God so that my relationships can be whole and just full of God's love and, and people will see it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, yes. Anything to add, Dr. Wallian? Well, I, I agree with everything that Andrea said. Um, I think also going back to Genesis 1 is really important because everything almost that we can say about human beings and who we are, why we exist, mm. goes back to creation. Mm. Genesis chapter yes. 1 and 2. And the fact that Genesis 1, God said, one God, three persons, as you mentioned, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the, the, the Bible, large Bible picture, says, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. The, those two Hebrew words there, image and likeness, indicate that we are like God, in a, not only in physical resemblance, but also in character. Wow. Mm. That both of those components, there's a physical component of, of physical resemblance and character component that like uh, mm -hmm. what you were talking about with love to, to God, love to uh, human, other human beings and that relationship. Um, and then um, verse 28, it says that, uh, well, even in verse 26, that they were to have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So it, it sets human beings apart from animal world. We're not just, uh, you know, descended from 
uh, the apes or, you know, some yeah. hominid of some kind, but a special creation. In fact, that's why in Genesis chapter 2, well, even uh, at the end of, of Genesis chapter 1, when he talks about, um, you know, it, everything was good, right? Uh, all the way through, it yeah. was good, it was good. But then when it comes to uh, verse 25, for example, uh, at the end of creating the animals, it was good. But when he comes to finishing his creation of human beings, in verse 31, he says, then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. <laughs> right. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. He wants us to have a relationship. Right. Jesus himself, you know, this, the famous prayer that he taught his disciples to pray, he said, pray to God, our Father. Mm -hmm. So there is a deep relationship that God wants yeah. to have Absolutely. with us. I see it as God being super excited here. That's why he says very good. Right? Yes, awesome. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, that is just a beautiful um, highlight from the word of God that we're created special and set apart and for relationship with each other, but most importantly with him. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm.